Hi everyone and welcome to another Sunday of Fun Day Horror Movie Reviews with me, Sarah of Horror. I review horror movies or any type of movies and TV shows and other things I find interesting every Sunday. So today we are continuing with the season one of Tales from the Crypt, season one, the two last episodes. So let's get right into it. Tales from the Crypt, season one, episode five. It's called Lover Come Hack to Me. It's starring John Cassier, Amanda Plummer, Stephen Shaw, and Lynn Price. So in this one, we have uh, this girl who marries her uh, boyfriend, long-term lover, and her aunt has something to say about it. He's, she's like, well, you're only marrying her for her money, but they go away on her honeymoon, on their honeymoon anyway. And then things take a strange turn. Yes. So, yes. In this one, I kind of do like the concept because you already know from the start that something weird is going to happen. Not everything is what it seems. So if the aunt is warning us about something, you know, it's probably kind of true. And then we also get kind of like a time flip in the middle of the episode which i kind of like if you hear anything it's my cat abby she's just been fed she's very happy <laughs> but yeah in this one i do like amanda Plummer's acting i do like her character and i kind of do like the kind of time flip changes we have in the episode and uh, i do like the script but it does not excite me as much as the other episodes does. I mean, it's still a fun concept and everything, but it's just not as fun as, like, let's say, the Christmas episode in this one, or the Only Sin Deep episode in this one, in this uh, season. Uh, but, it, you know, it's still a fun one, and I do like the script but i just don't think it's like strong enough I, th I think it's on the same level as the uh one as the one before where the guy he who could die a lot and then come back so probably like it's fun to watch but is it one of the most memorable ones in my opinion and no but it's not a bad episode if you know what i mean uh, so yeah, I I kind of do like the whole uh, set uh, decorations, the scenery, everything kind of that warns us that something bad is gonna happen and probably what will happen. Uh, but yeah, it's like a cozy little tale. That's what I say. It's a cozy tale. So how much will this get for me? Hmm. I'm giving this one a seven. Yes, so 7 out of 10 for Lover Come Hack to Me. But yeah, let's move on to the final episode of Season 1 of Tales from the Crypt. Season 1, final episode of Tales from the Crypt is called Collection Completed. It's directed by Mary Lambert. It's starring John Kassir, M. Emmett uh, Hyler, uh, Andrew Lindley, and Martin Garner. So in this one, we have this kind of elder couple uh Jonas and uh Astrid and he has been forced into an early retirement but he, he kind of gets annoyed by everything that kind of Astrid does uh or Asha I'm sorry I I my handwriting is really bad so I just wrote down a name uh but I'm sorry uh but yeah uh so he's kind of annoyed by everything she does especially because she takes in a lot of like animals which is amazing love animals like my abby if you hear her in the background and then there's a conflict there but it ends in a weird way let's just put it right there um but yeah so this one like it takes a while before this gets going like you have to really kind of get into the story kind of takes a while before like oh okay i can't understand where this is going uh but once you kind of realize what is happening it's actually really good it's really good and you're like oh wow okay 
And I do like the two main characters. They are wonderfully portrayed and played by uh, the actors. They fully understood the assignment and they really did a really good job. Also, the taxidermy things. Uh, just, you know, it, it kind of adds a really weird twist to everything. And I have to say, I do like the story. I do like the neighbor as well. The neighbor kind of adds some flavor, some spice to everything. And honestly, even though the story kind of takes a while to get going, I still really like it in the end. Like the end is the the best thing about this because you're like, you're, you're like the cat that is like shocked. You're like, yeah, you're, you're like that. Yeah, you're like, what? <laughs> oh, I do like the story in this one. I think this is a, a bit better, in my opinion, like story-wise, than episode 5. Uh, even though it takes a while. But sometimes I can appreciate, you know, a slow burn. A, something that takes a while to build up if the script is good enough. Which, in this case, it is. It, it so is, yeah. So I do appreciate this one. But my question is, why is season one only six episodes? I wanted to do more episodes from Tales from the Crypt, but you know, we can't have it all. But yeah, so how much will this one get from me? Hmm. I'm giving Collection Completed a 8 out of 10. Yeah. 8 out of 10, and yeah, I, I do really like this one. Uh, it's a good, you know, ending uh to the whole season and it keeps wanting you to see more so that is the most important thing about this now let's move on to the movie of the week which you all voted for and it is the substance yes the substance from 2024 directed by carly fergon she made revenge uh it's starring Demi Moore, uh margaret qualley uh dennis quaid Yes, so in this one we have Demi Moore. Uh, she plays this character called Elizabeth Sparkle. And she, she's kind of aging out, feeling like maybe she needs to look better. She needs to do something to tweak herself a bit. And she kind of takes this uh, black market drug that kind of creates a better version of herself. But of course, it comes with, you know, deadly consequences. I've been hearing a lot about the substance, and mostly that is a body horror. I myself love a good body horror. I am myself currently writing a script for a body horror feature film. So I was like, you know, I need to see this. And of course, I love Coralie Fergo. She made Revenge, which is amazing. I love this film, like 10 out of 10. I think I reviewed it on my channel. If I probably have during my kind of revenge theme so if i have you can go look it up uh but i mean substance i went into this and i was like i expect to see something really strange weird freaky body horror ish and you know what that is exactly what i got first demi moore amazing i loved her in the substance this is this is exactly the kind of role that she needs to portray she really showed diversity range and just every time she was on the screen i was kind of mesmerized especially when she was deteriorating like the film just went on and man i was just wow i was just blown away by her performance so demi moore amazing performance loved it but i have to say i can understand the critique of it takes a while to get into this film it does because like the first hour you're like but like what is really going on why am i hearing that this is like one of the nastiest films of the year and you know hold on i wouldn't say it's a slow burn but you have to kind of get into the story you have to get into the mindset of the characters you have to kind of understand what keeps them going what triggers them what motivates them to keep on going in this kind of weird situation that they are in remember it's a body horror so you have accepted it's a world you know with body horror you have accepted this world so you kind of have to understand why they keep going and 
once it, it gets going, you're like, whoa. You know, I love my core. I love my weird movies. I love my weird little body horror body parts, like boop, 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 popping up. And that is exactly what I got. I'm so happy. Like, besides that part, I will talk about them later. Just the cinematography, amazing. Like, the, just the clean scenery of when Demi Moore is kind of kind of in the bathroom or when the other girl is in the bathroom. So clean, so good. Everything is just crisp and... I love the the lights, the scenery, the music, everything. I love the dialogue. Just this film really hit home in a lot of ways. Like I could relate in a lot of ways to this film. Uh, even though I'm not quite there yet, but I, like I can see in the future, I would be like, you know, I I can understand why this character does this or that and i don't know it just hit home for me and also then of course we have to talk about you know the fact that this film is supposed to be like really nasty and gross someone who's used to nasty and gross you know i didn't find it to be nasty and gross um i just looked at the sfx and i was just amazed at how they did some of that because i was really just fascinated and it brought me a lot of society vibes so if you've seen society, this is film society i think it's from 88 by brian used uh then you could definitely understand what this film is going to be because i got a lot of society vibes definitely when the last 20 minutes happens i like society ding 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 and i was super happy and the last like 20 30 minutes chef's kiss amazing i loved it I didn't find it nasty at all. I was just happy that it happened. I was like, this, this is body horror. Like people who are familiar with body horror know what to expect. So this was exactly what I was expecting. And I got it. And I was happy that I really got it. But I, I can say, you know, Demi Moore's performance was just really heartbreaking and really amazing. That is exactly what I, what I want to feel. When watching a movie like this i want the performances to be so heartbreaking that i am just like i want to be torn apart by the characters but what is going on with them and i don't find a lot of movies or horror movies in this subgenre does that but this one sure does and there is my cat wow super happy to get that in this you know movie and all just the sfx amazing this story was really good and i'm super happy that we have like Coralie lee who makes these types of uh, stories and directs these types of movies so i'm i'm a huge fan and i wasn't disappointed at substance at all i was just super happy uh, from what we got as i said the last 20 30 minutes i was just super happy like everything just came together the cinematography scenery acting as facts just everything the story just came together wonderfully in a beautiful just pot of wonderful body horror-esqueness and it was just really amazing to watch actually so i'm super happy uh, that i got to see the substance and if you ever get the chance to see The Substance and you're a fan of Coralie or you're just a fan of body horror movies in general, then I urge you to watch this because this is amazing. Yeah, I think this is definitely one of my favorite films or favorite horror movies of 2024 so far. Yeah, I'm still going to watch Terrifier 3 next week. High hopes for that. Uh, but yeah, the, the Substance is definitely up there on that list. So... What will the substance get from me? Hmm. I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 for the substance. Uh, it's a really high grade. I really enjoyed it. And I hope you will too when you watch the film. But yeah, thank you so much for 
watching uh, this episode and for watching all of the episodes where I talk about Tales from the Crypt season one and when I finish it today. Next year in October, I'm going to talk about season two of Tales from the Crypt, but you know, it's in a year, so oh, we're all sad, boohoo. But yeah, so next week, I will probably going to review Terrifier 2 because I haven't, and of course, Terrifier 3. So I'm watching a preview in Sweden. In Sweden we get it late, but it's still a preview here. And I'm going to talk about Terrifier 3. So I hope you will look forward to that. Bye!